We've come a long way since Pong, Pac-Man, and Pitfall. Gaming has turned into a multi-billion dollar industry, connecting millions of people all over the world. Well, here to share in National Video Game Day is our friend Dex, Dexbot Badget, influencer and social community manager for Activision. Great to have you back. Thank you for having me. Glad Happy National Video Game Day. Yeah, yeah, exciting day. Something that we're glad to uh, be able to talk about and celebrate and you know, just talk about all things games. You know, and, and it's become such a passion of yours. And the last time you joined us, you actually did have a day job yes. at Bosch, yes. which now mm -hmm. you have since made this your full-time gig. Yes, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I've worked at Bosch for about 15 years. Um, I, you know, got the experience and had a lot of different roles there. And um, I kind of always had this side hustle of playing games and, and creating content. Uh, you know, I had a YouTube channel that I managed and I, I did some Twitch streaming and stuff like that. And I learned about building a community. I learned about how to manage the social media around yeah. that. and. <laughs> You know, all of that while creating gaming content, and it allowed me to take a step in my professional career and transition into the gaming industry. How many followers did you develop out of that? Um, it, it varied across a variety of platforms, but I believe I was close close to a hundred thousand or so, Goodness roughly. Gracious. So that's amazing. Yeah. Just from your love of playing video games. Yeah, that's, um, where, that's where it all started. From. It's where it all started, <laughs> and so so you are now working full time for Activision, but you still are an influencer in that space as well. So what does it mean yeah. to be an influencer in, yeah. in the gaming world? Um, it, it can have a variety of meanings, but mainly, um, you know, the typical influencers that, that create gaming content, you know, they'll, they'll upload and create uh, content for various platforms. A lot of it's on social media, so it can be shareable. People may create YouTube content, they may create Twitch streams, TikTok and other platforms, and, and they can, you know, grow a following, they can connect with their communities and, and use their platforms to, um, you to know. To teach people how to play better? Yeah, yeah to play you better, do. just to pure entertainment, funny moments. And you mentioned YouTube, most everybody knows what YouTube is, but you also mentioned Twitch. And yes. for our audience who is not familiar with Twitch, what is it? Twitch is a live streaming platform. Um, it's really blown up over the last several years. And um, you can you can go on, you can create live broadcasts to um, audiences that might be looking to check out your content, whether it's gaming, uh, they have podcasts, just chatting, yeah. um, people stream poker, all kind of things on there. So it's, it's overall, it's a live streaming platform that you can use to put out content. Okay, fantastic. And what was the bug that bit you? How did you get started in gaming? Um, I got started gaming very young. Uh, my parents had bought me like a regular Nintendo, I believe, like in the early 90s. Um, you know, and so that kind of was a natural transition as a kid and being a fan of, of various games and stuff. But I really got hooked whenever I started playing like online games. And I started that roughly in like 2001, 2002. Um, my neighbor and one of my best friends at the time, um, he had like a cable modem. He was able to get online <laughs> yeah. and, and play at a little faster speed than I was at my house. And, um, you know, we started playing online multiplayer games and it allowed us to connect and chat and play with people from all over the world. And I thought that was so cool to be able to just, you know, be able to play and talk to people on microphones and headsets yeah. that are in Europe and you know other parts of, of uh, North America and stuff it was just it was cool it was fascinating we talk about technology moving at the speed of light and you mentioned about your console in the early 90s well I'll take you back another decade I actually brought in my very own Coleco vision that my parents gave me in the early 80s at some point with games like Burger Time Smurf Donkey Kong I mean yeah I know I'm really <laughs> aging myself right now um, but games that are now out there uh, do people use consoles the way they used to? I mean, the cartridges are a thing of the past, which is completely <laughs> archaic at this yeah, point, right? Yeah. So everything is online. Well, and, a lot of it is, yeah. And between the different brands, how many brands are there now? Um, there's, there's still a variety. Some of the big ones that um, you know a lot of players and fans navigate towards are like PlayStation, Xbox, um, Nintendo Switch is huge right now. Um, mobile gaming has been blowing up over several years, people playing games on their phones and tablets and stuff like that. Do so play and the same games PC. across all the different brands of console? Or? Um, a lot of times, yeah. A lot of times you can okay. play um, a variety of games across different platforms, but um, so there are some that are exclusive to certain platforms as well. Okay. All right. So not knowing what's happening necessarily three to five years down the road, but any games that are going to be coming out soon that you're excited about? Um, as a fan, yeah. Um, I've, I've started playing the Nintendo Switch a little more as a fan, uh -huh. and um, my daughter really likes to play like Animal Crossing, so we've kind of gotten into that realm of like, you know, get her getting to build her own little world and play yeah. and stuff like that. 
but uh, there's another game coming out that's made by Disney. It's called like Dreamlight Valley, so it's gonna have like Disney characters and oh, stuff in it. And I think it'll be something that she'll be able to like have fun with and very, very family safe and family oriented. Gosh, and these so. kids, they're learning how to play on these things. I mean, does the technology oh, yeah. seem so complicated for an adult, but they're <laughs> learning so fast as so little fast. children. <laughs> well, I wanna thank you so much, Dex, for joining us again. Sure. And for people who want to uh, follow you and what you're doing, how do you, how do they find you? Um, on any various sh uh, social media platform, you can follow me, uh, Dex Spot with a zero. Wonderful. Thank you cool. so much. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you. We're back after this.